Item number SCP-7000 Containment Class Anomalous Special Containment Procedures SCP-7000 presents a negligible threat to the veil or the Foundation. Research into the cause of SCP-7000 manifestation event may continue, but no formal containment is required. Description SCP-7000 is the manifestation of an otherwise non-anomalous artificial rose made of pink fabric and plastic that spontaneously appears in populated areas. The conditions for its manifestation are still unclear, but a vast majority of events share the following in common. SCP-7000 usually manifests between 5 p.m. and 7 a.m. local time. Despite almost exclusively manifesting in urban environments, the area is rarely heavily populated at the time. SCP-7000 favors industrial and business zones over residential areas. SCP-7000 manifests outside of direct human observation. This combined with a lack of enormous effects following manifestation make containment and research of SCP-7000 a low priority. Addendum 7001 Discovery Foundation data crawler Sylvia AIC recorded a brief reboot of several audiovisual CCTV cameras in Norfolk, Virginia. As this was extremely unlikely without anonymous interference, it was flagged for manual review leading to the first recorded SCP-7000 event. A transcription of the footage can be found below. Morgan Aldro walks out of the place of employment, a local grocer. It is 2.17 a.m. The street is dark, and Aldro shivers momentarily. Reaching into the pocket, they pull out a set of keys, and after 30 seconds of effort, lock the door to the building. They take a few steps back, still facing the building, and take a single deep breath, rubbing their eyes. They wander to a nearby bench. Aldra sits down and pulls a pair of earphones and a pack of gum from their pockets. They plug the headphones in, filling with the phone to find song. Content, or at least okay with their choice, they put the phone down and steal across the road. A few minutes pass, the gentle breeze dies down, they gaze into the distance, isolated from the world around them. Rarely, a car passes, roaring as it goes, but they do not react. The every breath cuts to brisk air, regardless, they continue to stare. A long while later, Ultra snaps back, sighs loudly, and leans down. Putting her head in her hands, the footage cuts out. When it resumes, a pink plastic rose can be seen to the side of the bench. Alder continues to sit head in hands. After five minutes, they look up and notice the rose. They hesitate. Huh. They pick up the rose and turn it about in their hands, looking it over for a minute. Suddenly, they stand up almost jumping off the ground in effort, and slide the rose between their pocket. Slowly, they wandered towards the camera as they head home. As they leave frame, they have a slight smile in their face.